It's already looking good. Yay! Come on. Shall be the president. If 
such number be a majority of the whole number of electors appointed, and if no person having such majority, and for the persons having the highest number of not exceeding three in the list of those by far as president, and as representatives, shall so choose immediately by ballot the president. But in choosing the president, the vote shall be taken by states, representation from each state, having one vote. The quorum for this purpose shall consist of a member or a member from two thirds of the states, and the majority of all the states shall be necessary to do a choice. And the House of Representatives shall not choose a president wherever the Irish shall fall around them. Before the fourth day of March next following, then the Vice President shall act as President, as in the case of the death or other constitutional disability of the President. The first of March, the greatest number of votes of the Vice President shall be then Vice President, if such number be a majority of the whole appointed or electors appointed. How long no person has a majority, then from the two highest numbers in the list, the Senate shall choose the Vice President, a quorum, for the purpose shall be necessary to a choice, but no person constitutionally ineligible, so the office of president shall be ineligible to that of vice president of the United States. Democracy! <laughs> Hit him again. <laughs>